at Super Star Guy Bros. Master Friday. I love Friday. When you add those masters into it. Oh, heaven. Hopefully. All right, we do have a master's level game coming at you guys today from Daybreak. And it looks like we are going to have a Protoss versus Terran. We have lots of love being thrown out by both people. And uh, without further ado, Iron Sparks, who's playing? In our bottom left corner, we have our red Protoss, Big T. And in our top right corner, we have our blue Terran, Hedgehog Zerg. All right. Who is not Zerg? That's no. going to throw me off. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like Big T was... Hedgehog Zerg. Big T was asking uh, Hedgehog Zerg if he plays Zerg normally, and Hedgehog Zerg was like, nah. It was Zerg's too easy. Too easy. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's been shown you need more APM to really master Zerg at the higher levels, but uh, so kudos to Hedgehog if he's like, you know what, this this race is, I'm too good at this race. <laughs> so, well, you just need investors, and then he'll probably get really good at Terran, then really good at Protoss, and then he'll be a grandmaster, and then we're like, but that's not fair. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Barracks going down for Hedgehog. Nothing too fishy. Scouting probe coming in for Big T. Takes a bit of look around and then decides to start zapping the hell out of that building SV. And then he's like, you know what? I see you coming at me, bro. Taste, taste, taste. Thank taste, you taste. all. <laughs> it's a very gutsy probe. Thank you, bet. Alright, let's see. Gateway is about halfway finished for Big T. Gas going down, so we'll probably see that standard opener to get that warm gate tech out ASAP. And we probably won't see a fast expand or anything too too economically pushy or aggressive from both players. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's the pylon I was about to say we're about to see. Uh, probably see the, yes. Uh, without a doubt, we're going to see the cyber core go down right after this gateway. Uh, this has to be come around a scout because he has not yet observed his opponent. Um, yeah. yeah. This probe going down here, over here, up here. Up here. Back over here. So he's checking to make sure uh, there's no proxies or really anything because the probe's going all around the map. Since he saw nothing in the base, I mean, there's that one barracks and Hedgehog is going for an expansion. Alright. Cybernetics Core about to finish for Zealot popping out. Scouting done by both players very well. Keep going, Iron Sparks. And uh, Warp Gate tech has been started, not yet being thrownoed out, so uh, he's either not paying attention to that, or he's going to focus on getting units out quicker, so we can try to... Uh, I think he expects that the expansion is going up. I don't know if he saw it. No, he did not see it. But if he expects it, he's going to try to get the units out to try to deny it a little bit. Because mm -hmm. uh, if he does get the Zealot over there, as well as the Stalker, and he, if he gets it there before this is finished, he can kill this uh, SCB, delay it, uh, easily take out this Marine... Yeah, that one Marine is the sole guard at that new command center, and it does look Big T Zealot is going to make its way down there, but I don't know if he's going to be able to make it down there fast enough to deny that command yeah, center. Yeah, I don't think... Especially now that there's two Marines out with a little bit of micro, you can take out a Zealot quite easily. Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to make it in time to, to, to stop this from going, but he does have that Stalker joining the Zealot now, so they might be able to do at least some damage. Uh, take out these Marines without doubt. Um, might even be able to deny that bunker. Um, so here we go, we got the Zealot up there, uh, first Marine goes down, second Marine pull back a little bit to try and save its life a little longer. Mm -hmm. He's uh, gonna go ahead and kill this SEV, uh, probably turn his attention to these Marines, kill them as well. Yep, he does have the fresh Marines in the front, SCV is getting on it to try to do a little bit of extra damage as well as also confuse the unit, and SCVs are brought down to deal with the Stalker. A uh, good call from Hedgehog Zerg because I mean, one stalker, if micro well, can take out that small platoon of Marines. Yeah, I mean, some of these barely, barely made it out with their lives. <laughs> uh, let's see, Bunker is going to finish up by that natural expansion and back at Big T's base, we do have the robotics facility, which is going to be ideal to get out those Colossus to take on the Terran player. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's also going to be able to get a quick observer to see exactly what his opponent's doing. Yeah, and great, great timing on those uh, gateways. Warp Gate's just about to finish. He's going to have his three-gate robo up and running about now. Mm 
Or, or not. not. There, <laughs> we <go. laughs> there we go. Alright, so uh, I fully anticipate him to chrono out an observer since he does have that energy on his nexus for one. Um, he has a couple of units out getting some sentries out as if anticipating a counterattack or just to get the, the energy up on those sentries. Yeah, you get those units out early, they're able to build the energy up so you have you have a, a couple force fields, you have you know a, a long guardian shield thrown up just because you were smart and got those sentries out early. It looks like he has elected to instead chrono his drones out, which, you know, it's okay. Not a bad call. I mean, yeah. he does have Observer on the way, and they don't take a a ton of time. Uh, holy gas party. <laughs> Did he get three on both those? Yeah. Wow, all right. All um, right, so go ahead, producing two Observers, which is recommended. Yeah, he's going to have good map vision. Observers are an amazing, amazing unit in the Protoss army, and they just, they just give you the most vital thing. Yeah, if you put guns on them, uh Oh dear. What are we being shot by? No. <laughs> <laughs> when did Dark Templar learn to fly? I don't get this. <laughs> uh, back at Hedgehog's base, not too much. We have a lot of barracks going down, so he's going for a very heavy bio army. And now we do have a... I was about to say we have a tank coming. We have a factory coming. Probably going to switch that over to you know, I think a he, starport. I think he... Yeah, I think his... Uh, yeah. He's going bio. He's going 3M all the way. and Totally different from yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yesterday's game was straight up all mech from our Terran player. So check that game out if you really like Terran mech armies. All right, so uh, our upgrade one. Oh, so yawning. It's Friday. And charge going for the Protoss player as well as throwing down additional gateways. Kind of would have liked to see him here, but you know what? I was there. as well. I'd like to have seen some type of wall off of there. Oh! A little hidden engineering bay to shut down the third four big T. Let's see. I wonder if he sees this observer. I don't think he does. No, so a third going down for a hedgehog. I do believe big T does see that. Mm -hmm. We had to have seen it. You know what I'd like to see from hedgehog? Oh, some upgrades for his uh, bio units? Well, I was about to say Stim, but he already has it. <laughs> um, let's see, he is getting attack over grade 1, so now his uh, screens are going to be able to go fast. Because they have Stim. Yeah. He'll be just like Sonic. Yes. The Hedgehog. Yep. His blue. Yep. <laughs> just needs red shoes. Um, I would like to see the the shields, which had just started. Uh, attack of grade 1 is going to finish, and those medvacs are going to start. Well, the one thing Iron Sparks that I'm a little disappointed at right now... Where's the Marauders? You know what? I think you should just keep with Marines. <laughs> because we have uh, this building uh, coming. Templar Archives. So there's two huge answers to take on a Terran Bioball. One being Colossus. The other one being High Templar with their Size Storm. And it does look like BT, Big T uh, is opting to go this Size Storm route. You know, I just love Size Storms. I hate Size Storms. I love them. And here we, they're coming. Yeah, uh, the storm is coming. Uh, no cancel on the engineering base, so it does delay a little bit of expansion time, but uh, no no repay on that building. Oh, there's your marauder. One marauder. He's the general. He's general marauder. <laughs> uh, he has started producing a little bit more, getting concussion shells as well. Uh, combat shield's about to finish. Our uh, armor upgrade is going. The zealot really wanted to engage and then went, oh, hell no, I don't think I should do this. But you know, he's going to get wrapped around. And Flanking move on this, and Archon's on the field because that side storm is not done, and that splash damage is going to do a lot. Let's see, uh, these force fields don't really... They did cut a little bit of the army off, so a lot of marines were taken out. He forced the stim, which caused damage as well, and that's going to suck mm -hmm. healing energy out of the medvacs. If they ever stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh, side storm is finished now -ish. Yep. Uh, armor upgrade level 2 is going. He's got another Archon, uh, not Archon, High Temp being morphed in. And uh, it does look like Big T is going to be in a good position as long as those High Templars are able to store enough energy. You know, oh. you, you really miss the amulet for High Temp? No, I was going to say, uh, what I would like to see from Hedgehog is uh, Ghost. Absolutely, there is the Ghost Academy. <laughs> <laughs> so good call on that, Iron Sparks. And uh, those EMPs or snipes are going to be the counter towards the high temp if mm -hmm. you can get them in position. Or you can just try to nuke. You could. I love nukes. Nukes are great. I mean, these things are slow. A little bit. A little bit? <laughs> a lot of bit. They, I mean, they, they're not... They got like a handicap and the zealots are already catching up. They're not... They're not broodlords slow. <laughs> 
But I mean, they float. What do you expect? You know, maybe if they walked, they'd yeah, be faster. Yeah, I mean, you, you, seriously. I mean, land and walk. I mean, really, do you have to fly everywhere? I mean, the Zelts can go fast. All right, we do have the reactor upgrade for ghosts on the way. Mobius reactor. And uh, Medvac, Marine, and Marauder production still, still underway. Again, Hedgehog Zerg going that lovely, my favorite 3M battle strategy for the Terran player. With ghosts. All right, uh, so a small platoon of Terran units are going to walk up to presumably their death. Yeah, a lot of damage being done by that Archon, and the Protoss Death Ball is reforming down off of that high ground and low ground. And they are chasing the Terran player back to his base. You know, these Terrans aren't getting away, which is good, because they're staying out of the way from the storm time. So surprised yet, we haven't seen some feedbacks on these medbacks as of yet. A little bit of a center step is doing a lot of damage to these weakened zealots. And uh, the problem now... The high temp and everything are going to be right at the door of the Terran player. As he does get a force field to stop that, he's going to go ahead and take this expansion out yep. to dinner. I don't I don't know if it's going to be that nice. I don't think there's going to be any dinner or dessert. All right, uh, so if these Archons what I, can... What I would really like to see is Storm right now. Oh yeah, right there on that ramp. Oh my god. Oh. Throw, throw another force field down on that ramp. Get them all down there. So he does Storm to kill some of these SCVs. Feedback. It does look like the medvacs decide to kind of reverse mm -hmm. elevate down the units. A lot of these elves are going to picked off. They are going to do a little bit of damage, but it looks like instead uh, Big T has decided to force his units to attack this third. He might be able to get away with getting two command centers down here. Yeah, he might, but... Uh, where's the storms? Uh, you know, he's saving the energy. I think Iron Sparks for that big engagement with the Terran army because he knows, he knows it's still out there. Well, he could have gotten rid of it. Here it is. We should see a storm on this stimmed army. Come on. Come on. I never root for a storm on a Terran army. Come on. You're winning. Let's do this. I just think that I think the high temps are just too far away. All right. So now's the moment of truth. He's going to get him a bottleneck up here. Some of the ghosts are out. Going to see if he's going to throw ahead. Go ahead, throw out those EMPs. High temps are back at that ramp uh, outside the natural... Uh, oh, storm down on the ramp, getting and rid uh, of some of the early ghosts heading down. But why, why, why High Templar was uh, sniped? Uh, yeah, so let's see, we have another force field trying to keep the Terran army in its base, but it's not a tight seal and they are able to slip through. You know, this protest can just really walk over and finish I, the game. You know, I really think that because of the amount of Archons out there right now... What about the amount of Zealots? Yeah, just the zealots as well that he could take this out. Go, commit. Commit. No, don't throw your archons away. What are you doing? Don't flush them down the imaginary Yeah, toilet. there's no archon toilet right now. Uh, totally misplaced storm right there. They actually killed one medvac. And uh, here comes the Terran army. They stimmed down the ramp, and then they uh, they came off their stim high. Reinforcing zealots are headed up to the, to the Protoss army. You know, he needs to... Go. No. Go. Wipe them out. All right, here we go. This might be the battle to settle the game. I got nothing. I'm just watching. Yeah. I <laughs> All right, Zealots finally moving in. Storms right. go down on the Marines. That is GG for Hedge Hedgehog Zerg, and being a master player, he does know that uh, he is done. So leave a comment down below on how you think the game went. Is that a Marauder? I think it was a Marauder. It was a Marauder. That's painful. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, yada yada. Share, send us your replay at superstarcraftbros at gmail.com. Let me not yawn through that. It's or been a long, Scarf it's been a long <laughs> week. Hope you guys had a great week. Good luck, have fun uh, this Friday, this weekend, and GG. GG.